Hi everybody, welcome to Audition Talks. Um, I'm very happy to welcome a very special guest today, Stéphane Retzi, who is a principal flutist of Symphony Orchestre Basel. Uh, he appears as well as a soloist with um, major orchestras of the world. He also plays as a soloist in Orchestre de Chambre of Zurich, the Chamber Orchestra of Zurich, and he has a teaching position in uh, Hochschule Dresden. Uh, so welcome Stefan, thank you for joining us. Could you introduce yourself and tell us um, a little bit about your musical career? Yes, sure. Very, very short, I think it's, a very, it's a, that much importance. So, um, <clears throat> I started the flute when I was something around 10 years old. And then uh, I, I studied in a small city in my, in my, in my city in Lorient, <clears throat> sorry. This is in Bretagne at the Atlantic coast. And uh, instead of playing uh, uh, Celtic music, I, I don't know why I wanted to play classical music. I don't know why. And then I started in Nantes with a fantastic uh, prof. Uh, he was Guy Cotin, he's still living. And uh, uh, he also was a student of Gaston Crunel. And Crunel was a student of uh, Philippe Gobert. And Gobert was a student of Tafanel, for you, it's not very important. For the flutist, we know that this is the, the creation of the French flute school in Paris uh, with Tafanel, uh, developing, absolutely developing the boom flute, the flute we play today, and not, not the, the old system coming from the Baroque and classic and romantic system. So, and then I studied with uh, uh, Ida Ribera. She was the assistant of Jean Pierre Rampal, and she's, she, 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 she's, but she was a fantastic teacher too. Uh, a big chance for me. And she, she, she really took care of me. She helped me a lot. Called me every morning <laughs> to, to practice. Sure. And, and, and then I, <clears throat> I, uh, I studied in the conservatory in Paris with uh, Michel de Bost, fantastic teacher, a uh, fantastic uh, human being, a fantastic connection, talking about everything, music, of course, fluid literature, of course, but everything. He loved poem, he loved, but talking about life. And uh, and this is a good way to, to bring your signature and your music. Of course, we have to play the notes, play everything. But how to, 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 to bring your vision with absolute respect of aesthetic and composer? This is a big mm. deal. So I think we have to talk about the audition system. <laughs> yes, um, I have many questions about auditions. So after you completed your studies, you entered pretty fast um, into you won a, you won your position in Symphony Orchestra Basel, and um, you've had a very impressive career ever since. Uh, but what what does it take? What are the necessary components for auditions to win an audition? To, to win an audition, I, um, I I don't think there is a perfect answer. There is a, a of the chains uh, of the day, the moon and Jupiter and Saturn and are in a good position for you. Uh, of course, the thing to be absolutely prepared with the pieces you have to play is. We don't have to discuss about it. And the thing is uh, 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 a mental uh, preparation. And I can realize in my class too, but generally that uh, people are not prepared mentally yeah, because they don't know uh, how to do it. And I learned a very special method when I was in the conservatory in Paris. I, at the same time, I wanted to be an actor and I was studying in the American Center in Paris mm -hmm. with a, a, a woman, incredible woman. She 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 was Blanche Salon, and uh, she she studied in the actor studio in New York with Lee Strasberg, and she bring back her mm -hmm. method how to prepare your mental before to go on a text. It's exactly the same for us, I think, mm -hmm. when we have to play, uh, of course, Mozart and all the orchestral exceptions. So. Uh, how to prepare myself mentally to be in a in a position to to uh, uh, respect the help and give something in the music, but respect the aesthetic, respect the style, respect the author, the composer. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I learned. I had the chance to learn with this woman, and it was a 
Fantastic. So, so this is what I try to do in my class. So what is that technique? Can we talk a little more about it? What is how how to develop that mental? Um, is it something you practice during your preparation when you practice yes. or prepare for the audition? Is it something you do a few days before? Is it something you do the day off for the audition? This is something you have to do something every day. And it's good for your health, it's good for your mind, it's good for to to be happy <laughs> with yourself. Yeah. Even it's not easy every day for everybody, we know. Uh, everything is based on the uh, breathing and the coordination between lungs, heart, and brain. Yeah. And how to change the electric waves of your brain to bring you in a mode, which is called alpha, yeah. where where you are very, very receptive with the situation where you are. And as we said, the audition is a, it's, it's a terrible thing. It's, it's nothing to do with the reality, but we have to do that. And the audition, uh, you have to do, you give you maximum potential in three minutes, but not after three minutes, mm -hmm. right at the beginning. And this is very, very... Uh, very special and just to be prepared and have a, uh, it's not enough to, with, with your instrument is of course and with, and with your imagination and, and etc cetera, etc cetera. it's not enough so you have to to prepare something different which is uh, uh, mentally imagination mm -hmm. and, and which is um, so as I said coordination between brain and heart and lungs and uh, and also to uh, to prepare. Um, it's, uh, in French, it's not so easy to say, and in English too. I realize uh, to prepare a good souvenir. Mm -hmm. To look if you have a good souvenir of playing, good memory of yeah. an event, a concert, or um, a competition. I don't know, or uh, with friends. And another thing is also to, to do the same thing with a private private souvenir, private memory, where you feel good. Mm -hmm. And you will think about, it's, it, it's a little bit too long, but just, you will think about it, and when you feel good in the situation, and when you can uh, uh, see the situation again with instrument or without instrument, when if you can see this situation again, with like you see your eyes in your memory, you close your eyes, you don't see your back, you cannot, see, and you don't see you. You don't. Sometimes you have your camera. You see yourself playing, and the deal is this is called disassoci disassociated. And when you are associated, so you can see exactly remember remember the situation. You can see all the people where you are with your eyes, and when you feel good with the sound, with the expression, with the. Then you make something easy to do, which is called an anchor. Maybe it's not a, a yes. good name. Yes, 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 yes. This, you know the system. So maybe something simple you can do in a in a just before the competition. Not a movement too complicated, like I, I don't know something like this. But no, yes. something very very simple you can do. Very nobody can see something like this. You just hold your hand, yeah. Yeah. fifteen seconds, and you keep your memory. You do it again, fifteen seconds. What happens? When you arrive at the audition, you are prepared, of course. But then you start to be destroyed by your imagination, by your brain, because you are in for your in Neanderthal and brain, you are in a death situation. You have to escape. And that for your heart is going faster, which is good to escape. It's not good to hold the sound in a slow movement. You get sweat hands, which is good to climb in the tree. But it's not good to play the piano or to play the violin or to play the flute, etc., etc. What can we do? We can we can put our brain in a strange situation. He will not recognize if you do it before. He will not recognize if it's reality or not reality. So when you make your preparation, you sometimes you're very surprised because without doing anything, your your heart is starting to pump like a hundred and twenty. You have. Absolutely, sweat hands. Sweat, is that with? Uh, sweaty, yeah, sweaty hands, yeah. Sweaty hands, and uh, and and the mood, the, the, the mouth is also dry suddenly. And but you don't, don't do anything. You just try to imagine you are going on the stage to play for an audition. 
And it's not necessary to know uh, the, 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 the whole, to know exactly the, the sometimes you arrive to take uh, uh, just before the audition, you don't know the building, you arrive one night before, it's not a problem. Uh, it's just the, the thing is to prepare when you go on stage, even if it's not the same stage, it's not a problem. And 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 you play your 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 own program um three times every day. I would suggest maybe start two weeks before mm -hmm. and and or three weeks before. Because just making uh, uh two days before it's not enough. You have to be prepared, you have to be used to these technical things. So two groups. Mental imagination this is one group, and the other group is uh, co coherence cardiac. We say in French, it's a coherence between heart, lungs, and brain. Brain coherence, yeah. yeah. No, there is an example, something very good when you, when, for the preparation. You take a, I have it here. You take a piece of paper, mm -hmm. you take a pen, mm -hmm. you take your phone. Mm -hmm. and you make a picture of yourself. No, 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 it's not one. No, you put the you put the chronometer, you put five minutes, puff. And during those five minutes, you just design your breathing. So when I breathe, I make like this. Mm -hmm. I don't try to control, I just respect my body. Okay, I start five minutes, something like this, okay. Mm -hmm. At the end, it's maybe uh, like this. Okay, and at the end, you count how many waves. This is one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. We say that for everybody, man or female, <clears throat> uh, twenty years or thirty years, I don't know. It's almost the same. We are counting how many pulls, how many uh, uh, cycle you have in five minutes. Yeah. Um, by doing this exercise, you should be around 30, 26, 35. Mm -hmm. If you are by 20, it's that you control. If you, if you are by 50, it's, you have to do it again to just to come down. This exercise is exactly a fantastic exercise to, to come down and to go in. Slow down alpha. the breath, yeah. Yeah, and to make... The goal is to slow down and to go slow, slow with your breath, yeah. And to make your electricity in your brain, the 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 how do you say the frequency uh, a little bit lower. What happens when you are in when the relax uh, uh, electricity waves in your brain? You are more conscious. So when you have to go to the stage, you have three minutes, and when you play, you play almost very close to the reality. What you able to do when without stress mm -hmm. a little stress of course a little stress is good it gives you the the power to take risk and to to open to look for new colors and everything but doesn't destroy your playing yeah. and I remember myself when uh, when i did a lot of audition and <laughs> disaster <laughs> and i when i went out of the stage of the stage i at that point i was absolutely Okay, to go back to the stage. I, now I feel good. I want to. It's too late. Too late, yeah. And and all those exercises, which which are not direct connected with the instrument, are one of the keys. I think this is a mental preparation. The guy who prepared the Olympic Games, the sportive with a high level, mm -hmm. do that. Um, uh, especially the the French football team is doing that too. <laughs> Yeah, the athletes, yeah, the sports, the athletes, they're, they're doing that. And yeah, the politics do that to, to, to be able to talk about, uh, to make the people believe in you, that 3,000 or 50,000 people. And, you know, you maybe, maybe you're not so clean that you say, but you have to make sure that the people, they have no choice. They want to vote for you. The same thing in an audition. You have to put the jury in a situation. The jury has no other situation, possibility. He has to vote for you. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, you touched upon stress, which is a big part of the auditions, the nerves. You go there and it's unknown. Sometimes you've never been in that on that stage before. You see people that are also stressed, many people 
that are waiting in a room, you draw a number, you could be number one, you have to play right away, you could be number 31, you have to wait for three hours. So all of that, it's it's so stressful. And then you have to go and play. And of course, this technique that you shared, I think this is so great and this is so wonderful. But any other tips how to control nerves? For the flute, I would say uh, we use the mouse and um, for, I think for almost everybody, um, I, I suggest not to talk before playing because this is, you don't use the same muscles mm. and you, you and the way you use your tongue is not the same and it change the, how do you say, spit? Yeah. Uh, change it. And sometimes, and this is the reason why sometimes with the stress, you, you have the sensation of, of uh, dry. And with, if it's too dry, you cannot make the articulation. And you feel your tongue is a little bit uh, um, uh, tired. You know, she doesn't elsewhere. She, she doesn't work. She doesn't make the, the, the separation between the tones, between the notes, and so, and so on. So, so I would say no talk before. There are people who are need to take tell your joke or make the other people and but they they, they are preparing themselves by talking and by making jokes and asking you a lot of things what kind of instrument do you play why did you study yeah. oh, you a nice coat da, 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 da. but they are in their own preparation you are not i'm i mean most the big majority we need a little bit calm before of course please don't play thousands time uh, midnight summer dreams and again Daphne's and and again Brahms uh, two hundred times before the day of the audition. You don't need to play Brahms. Uh, you need to play Brahms on the stage, not yeah. the backstage. So, what do you warm up? Do you play scales? Well, how how do you? Yeah, and, and and long long notes, and if I did this preparation before. And if and if necessary, I did this anchor what we talked about before. I don't I don't need to play. I don't need to play when I go to a rehearsal with a big conductor or, or anyway with the conductor. I don't need to practice three hours before when we start at nine thirty in the morning. I don't wake up at four o'clock. Mm. So I need I need to be uh, of course rested. Yeah, mm. of course. And uh, not too much uh, illegal substance, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about the illegal substance because a lot of people are talking, t t uh, eating so pill and, and shit. And some people they uh, they, they even ca cannot go to uh, to a re just a simple rehearsal without a pill. Mm -hmm. and, and and this is a disaster for your own life and for your health. And you have to be uh, sure that. Those technique, well, what we're talking about very very shortly, I know, but they are, uh, are are working, and are very and and you feel proud in a way uh, after, not that you control yourself, you don't control that much, but you feel proud that you accept you are in the in the situation you can accept the fact to be on the stage, and you have to play three minutes for a jury, you don't have to fight. You have first to accept and to yeah. give, accept and give. Yeah. Enjoy. Very interesting and very important work. Yeah. 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 No fight. It's not a fight. Um, and and if there is a fight, it's, it's with yourself. So take care. Be nice with yourself and prepare yourself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because there's so much pressure, and we want to practice. At least me, I am guilty of that. Uh, I want to practice a lot, a lot, and it's never enough because I come from Russian school, you know, like Wahagen. <laughs> we studied in Armenia. We had very tough teachers and they said, how many hours? No, it's not enough. Six hours. You need to practice eight. You need to practice 10. And it was like, and I still do that to myself, but I learned that mm -hmm. it doesn't bring any results. So last few weeks before the auditions, let's say, do you rest? Do you how much do you practice? Because the work has been done and you have last two weeks and it's very important to arrive prepared mentally. So do the exercises, the anchoring, the breathing, the draw the breath. And 
how do you practice the instrument last two weeks? Uh, very interesting. Um, <clears throat> the neuro uh, scientific to discover something very interesting, you know, I'm sure, uh, maybe 10 or 20 years ago, I don't know, uh, that the brain doesn't take the, the tempo in consideration. So when you have a piece with a difficulty, I'm talking about very technical difficulties. It could be fingers for you, it can be here. Oh. And for us, it could be here, tongue or breathing. Uh, you have to be sure that when you stop well, practicing on the, on the day, you stop without any mistakes. So for us, maybe um, uh, Strauss, uh, Domestica, or Rosen Cavalier, mm -hmm. or, which are very tricky here. I play very, very, very slow. But with a nice sound, I respect the dynamics, the ligature, I breathe a little bit more. Dim, dum, 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 dim, dee, even slower. Very cool. Dum, dum. Very slow. And I finished. I uh, put my foot in the case and stop. What happens here? Your brain is waiting for correction. The brain's wait something like, let's say, 15, 20 minutes. If there is no correction, it's like with a computer. He take the information and put it in your hard disk. Mm. Could you imagine when you finish? Ah, it's too difficult. Ah, I had a life. I did five hours a day, or I think, or ten hours. You, know? and uh, and then you stop. You stop. Okay. Well, your brain is waiting for the correction. No correction because you stop. And he took the last version, like an update, and he record. This last version. The day after, you come back to the same piece. You make and you say, "My God, it's difficult. I cannot play this piece. I'm never secure. Sometimes it's worn. And, and this is very interesting. So, to to practice, I say, only extremely slow allowed to play extremely fast. Don't play. Don't 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 practice fast. You have to practice slow. And then I say, I have my several friends with me. I have my friend sound. I have my friend. Intonation. I have my friend fingers. I have my friend breathing. I have my friend, I don't know, vibrato, expression. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. And then with all my friends, we are going this way. This is a tempo. And when we push the tempo, usually there is a winner. The winner is the fingers. Yeah. <laughs> but in this case, if there, there is one winner, there is no winner. If the, if, if the fingers, uh, when, but the sound, the right hand for you, and and, and the our uh, bow here doesn't go with the fingers. <clears throat> it's a disaster. Yeah. So we have to make a synchronization, and the synchronization again. Synchronization is interesting. Brain, lungs, heart. Yeah. And again, synchronization with all very typical uh, um, uh, parameters for for our playing technique. All the all those those parameters to, should go together with the tempo. So to answer again to your question, slow, yeah. slow, and slow. And the first thing I I, I prepare is is the sound. And the second thing I prepared is the sound. And the third thing I really prepared is the sound. Yeah, yeah the sound. Yeah, that's very important. And, you know, you mentioned in your opening that when you were studying with your teachers, they really, your teacher really told you how to bring your own interpretation, but to stay true to the manuscript. So how do we achieve that? And for auditions, it's important too to show your personality, um, but stay true to what's written. Big question. <laughs> huh? <Big>. Good questions. <laughs> question. yeah. but, um, uh, again, in an audition situation, I don't think there is a 
there is a one answer, uh, especially uh, when you play Mozart or when you play Bach, because there are so many specialists. Everybody has become a specialist of Bach and Mozart. I'm, I'm very, I'm very so surprised sometimes. I have the feeling that the guy they had dinner with Mozart or with Bach the day before, and I had never the chance to have a dinner with Bach. So <laughs> we have to accept that a lot of things we don't know. Even people say they know uh, about the interpretation. For example, when you play Bach, for me, I don't, I don't want to develop that much, but uh, the rare moment in our history, musical history, is that we stop to play the Baroque music. Uh, and in Leipzig, for example, uh, with uh, Mendelssohn and Schumann started again to discover Bach and and, and everything. The, from Beethoven to now, if I go back to my parents, were not musician grandparents, but let's say I go to my parents, grandparents, and da, 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 I, go, I go back, we will find somebody who play with Beethoven. But we don't. We will not find somebody who plays Bach, because uh, from Beethoven to to today, there were no stop playing this music. So this music was always played, but the music before was not played. So we lose uh, uh, a lot of information about the the, um, the interpretation. We have a lot of texts. We discovered a lot of things the last uh, 30, yeah forty years, maybe fifty, and even. It continues to, to new texts come and or a new uh, edition or new manuscripts. I will uh, I was thinking about manuscripts. So uh, how, how can we do um, for the audition? Um, a pujatu or long or short or how, what do you do with the tempo? Um, do you Vibrato, play, vibrate, not vibrate. Exactly. So, do you play a little romantic, uh, even you don't like? Um, I think today, uh, I think it's okay to play uh, Baroque like you, if you play Bach, play Bach like you, you, you with your information of today, not the information of of uh, uh, year uh, ninety six, uh, uh, nineteen sixty, or where they play with a lot of vibrato everywhere. I, I, it was fantastic. Uh, I think now you, you you can play with a uh, with a uh, with the new information you have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Twenty years ago, I, I said no. Play vibrato, play like play like everybody. Yeah. It's strategic. You have to 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 make something strategic. There is another thing interesting when you play in an audition for an orchestra with YouTube and with a uh, with a informatic system, you can listen very often to how the orchestra plays mm -hmm. piece. Please go, listen. How, is, how, the, how are they, they are used to play these strings or this Beethoven or these Brahms or you look and change. You have to adapt. So this, this, I would say, this is very strategic. It's not very funny, but in a way, why not? Even when I'm playing, when a conductor asks me to do like this and uh, two years after, we play again the piece with another conductor, and he asked me to do like this. I do it and pay that for first, <laughs> and it's 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 uh, it's it, it yeah it's exciting uh, uh, to 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 go to the vision of somebody else, and if I uh, if I don't accept, I have to be a conductor myself. Okay, so this flexibility is very important, and uh, so play. I think. Today, play Mozart like you feel it was play with not that much uh, supra vibrato everywhere. Control vibrato is an ornamentation; it's not a sickness, you know. So be sure that you you can you can do something. You can make an expression. You can sustain a change, harmonic change, or or, or melodic. Or but uh, I think to, today, heutzutage auf Deutsch, uh, make it with the information you have. Uh, not don't play romantic when you play Bach and Mozart. Um, um, so, not a big discussion on how to be in respect of the style, aesthetic, and the author, composer, and to be uh, also clear with your personality. Uh, I would say, of course, yet yeah, as you said before, five, six, eight hours a day, a long time. Okay, and after. Uh, of course, 
the exercise we were talking about before, it will help you to develop your real feeling with this music. With your brain, you can understand vibrato, appoggiatura, style, aesthetic, da, da, da. But what does it mean for your heart? And remember, a big, very interesting book for us, for all the winds, but not only, which is a book of, uh, of uh, Joachim Quanz, uh, the Versucht about a uh, flöte zu spielen. Mm. And he writes, um, uh, we, in, in, in German, he said, in French, he said, the most important thing is le bon goût, mm. the right taste. taste. Yeah. The right one. What does it mean? Nobody knows. It's, it's, it's just... It's subjective, uh, in a way. Absolutely. But he said, this is the, the power of the heart. Not the physical power, but the love power of, the, of your heart. Oh, it's yeah. it's impressive because we today we're not uh, uh, used to sign. We're used to make a, well, very clear things. You have to answer very fast and take the train and take the plane and take your phone and uh, and then you have a slow movement and you have to do something with well, what do you with all the information you have. Be sure that with this relaxed situation that you prepare every day by breathing, it's good for your health. It's good for your communication with everybody. Of course, communication, this is what we do all the time with music. You will find the right communication with yourself. There is no, nothing against that, of course. And this is the, the way not to, to be in a, like an imitation of your professor or imitation of a very, very famous solist, but you, you do your own way, which is f f uh, fantastic because yeah. everybody does it. <laughs> it is powerful no thank you so much this is so powerful so valuable i think what you shared i could talk f with you for hours but i think we have to wrap it up so, uh, yeah. <laughs> any final thoughts that you want to leave us with uh no i think um um preparation mental breathing happy joy enjoy and music yeah in an authentic way, aligned with yourself. Yeah, that is beautiful. Well, thank you for sharing. Thank you very much for the invitation. It's been a pleasure.